welcome uh, to our class today and uh, we are going to have a discussion on the economic order uh, quantity and uh, the economic order quantity is under a topic known as inventory control and uh, this kind of particular economic order quantity is that quantity that is going to minimize the ordering cost and the holding cost so it's the quantity that minimizes the ordering cost or the cost of ordering the ordering cost and the holding cost. So the quantity that minimizes the cost of ordering and the cost of holding, which sometimes we call a carrying cost, is what we call the economic order uh, quantity. So in, uh, in management, when you are operating, when we have a lot of stock, we need to be able to know which kind of particular stock we should be able to have in our warehouses or the stores. So if you are going to have that kind of particular stock that is going to be in excess, then uh, we are going to incur more uh, carrying cost or holding cost, which is uh, known as the uh, storage cost. So if we have a lot of stock, then what it means, then we are going to pay insurance more in terms of insur uh, insurance cost. The insurance cost is going to be high and um, the rent for that where we are going to store that kind of particular stock we have to pay more so that's why we need to be able to know the economic order quantity which is going to minimize the cost of holding that kind of stock or the cost of stalling that kind of stock the same way if we are going to have less stock in our company then we are going to incur the cost of making orders the carriage inwards you can be able to remember carriage inward from financial accounting so that's part of the ordering cost that we are going to incur. So we must have that quantity, which is the economic order quantity, that is going to minimize the cost of ordering and also the cost of holding that kind of particular element of stock. So in this economic order quantity, I'm going to give you some formulas and then we will do this kind of particular question that you can be able to see here. And then uh, we call it a day. So, under economic order quantity, these are the formulas that you need to be able to understand when calculating the economic order quantity. The first formula is the economic order quantity itself. How do we get E or Q? So, economic order uh, quantity is given by the following formula. So, you are going to have the uh, square root of uh, 2 D. C O divided by C H. So that's the formula of economic order quantity. We are going to have the square root of 2 D uh, C O uh, divided by that C H and everything that you can be able to see there is under the square root. Uh, so what do we mean by this kind of particular uh, 2? 2 is going to be a constant and it will always be there. So D, the meaning of D is annual demand. So this is annual demand. So the annual demand, meaning that uh, it is going to be yearly demand. And then uh, uh, CO is going to be cost. The cost per order. So the cost per order is going to be that kind of particular CO. And then CH is going to be the holding cost as to what we call the carrying the carrying cost so the holding cost is the same as the carrying cost and this one is always calculated on a certain kind of particular percentage most of the time we are going to calculate it on a certain percentage which is the percentage of the purchase price as uh, we are going to see in the question later on but this one is just direct whereby it's going to be easy for us to be able to calculate it because they have already calculated it. So uh, that's the formula of getting that economic order quantity. The moment you know that formula, then the calculation is going to be uh, very easy. So apart from knowing the calculation of the economic order quantity, these are the other formulas because when they ask this question of economic order quantity, there are other questions that they are going to ask you. And these questions, you need to know the following formula. So the first thing that uh, they will ask you is actually calculating the annual the, the annual ordering cost. The 
the annual ordering the annual ordering cost so they can ask you that one how can we be able to calculate the annual ordering cost so the annual ordering cost is going to be given by this kind of particular formula So that's the formula of getting the annual ordering cost. We are going to take the annual demand, remember D is the annual demand, divided by the economic order quantity. And this economic order quantity is the one that we could have calculated here. The one that we are going to calculate here is the one that we are going to use in terms of getting the annual ordering cost. So the annual ordering cost will be that D over EOQ multiplied by the uh, cost per order. Remember, CO was cost per order there. And then uh, the other formula that you need to be able to know is what we call the annual holiday cost, the stock carrying cost. So how can we be able to get the annual holiday cost, the stock carrying cost? So for us to be able to get the annual holiday cost, stock uh, carrying cost, or storage cost, this is the formula that we are going to use. So we are going to take E O Q over 2 multiplied by that kind of particular holding cost that uh, we are going to be given in the question. So that's how you get the annual holiday cost or annual carrying cost. E O Q over 2 and then multiplied by that kind of particular CH. Then the other thing that uh, they can ask you in most of the question, in the, most of the questions they can ask you to calculate the number of orders that were made in that kind of particular year. So how can we be able to calculate the number of orders that were made in that year? So for us to be able to calculate the number of orders, this is the formula that uh, we are going to be able to use. So number of orders, So the number of orders is going to be D over E O Q. So that's how you get the number of orders that uh, were made in that kind of particular year. We take the annual demand divided by the economic order uh, quantity. So that's how you get the, that kind of particular number of orders. Then the other thing that uh, they may ask you in terms of calculating, so let me just uh, uh, wrap this kind, of, erase this kind of particular information here so that I have enough space. So we have seen that uh, we were given the number of orders, which was D of A O Q. So the other thing that they can ask you under this kind of particular question is calculating the total relevant cost. So how do we get the total relevant cost? So relevant cost is basically the annual ordering cost, the annual ordering cost plus the annual Holiday cost. So that's how we get the relevant cost. We are going to take the annual ordering cost plus the annual holiday cost. Remember, holiday cost is the same as carrying cost, or what we call the storage cost. So that question again is uh, very, very common on how to get the relevant cost. And remember, the formula of getting the annual ordering cost was actually D over EOQ multiplied by CO, so you are going to add the annual holding cost, and the annual holding cost, remember the formula was EOQ over two, multiplied by CH. So uh, that's how you get that kind of particular relevant cost. So if they are going to ask you the relevant cost, take the annual ordering cost, and then add the annual holding cost. So they can ask you that kind of particular uh, question.
again, the last question sometimes they can ask you, maybe not the last, but uh, another question that they can ask you is getting the total cost. So how can we be able to get the total cost of inventory? Now they may not use that word relevant, but they are going to use the word total cost. So if they ask you to calculate the total cost of inventory, then this is the formula that um, you are going to apply. So the formula of getting the total cost is basically the relevant cost. This relevant cost, and remember the relevant cost is the annual dollar cost as the annual holding cost. So it's going to be that relevant cost, you add the purchase cost. You're going to add the purchase cost. And uh, you know how to get the relevant cost because the relevant cost we know is the annual ordering cost as the annual holding cost. But how can we be able to get the purchase cost? So for you to be able to get the purchase cost, This purchase cost that you see here is basically taking D times P. And uh, this D is always that annual demand. And the P is going to be the purchase price. The P there will be the purchase price. So that's how we get the purchase cost. So those are some of the formulas that uh, you need to be able to know. But again, there is this question that they can be able to ask you. Apart from this one, they can ask you to be able to calculate average inventory. So how can we be able to calculate average inventory? Which formula can we be able to use in terms of calculating average inventory when you have been given the question of this kind of particular nature. So for you to be able to have average inventory, we'll ask you about average inventory. It's always E O Q over two. So that's how you get the average inventory. Just in case they ask you the average inventory is always that economic order quantity divided by two. Meaning that uh, these kind of particular questions, uh, they are going to depend on the answer that you are actually going to calculate under the EOQ. Meaning that you must be careful and uh, extra vigilant in terms of getting the correct answer because those kind of particular questions, the answer you get here, if you get a wrong answer, the rest of the equations, you are likely, you are actually going to get a long answers. So that's why you must be keen in terms of getting that economic order quantity, you get the correct answer there. So now, uh, there is this question that I have in this kind of particular side of the whiteboard, and the question says the annual uh, demand of material MX in a production company is 50,000. So you see it's 50,000 units. The ordering cost is 500 shillings per order. And then uh, the purchase price of material MX is 400 shillings per unit. And then we have the holding cost is 200 shillings per unit. So this is uh, 200 here. So it's 200 shillings uh, per unit per annum. And then uh, the, question, uh, uh, the question says to determine the, Roman 1, the economic order uh, quantity. And then um, Roman 2, they want us to be able to determine the number of orders in a year. And then uh, Roman 3 is to determine the total relevant cost. And a question like that was having like 10 good marks. So how can we be able to uh, calculate uh, that kind of particular question? So if you can be able to see uh, from the question, I want us to analyze before we apply this formula. Let us analyze the question one by one. And then uh, we apply the formulas and then we will be done with the question there. So uh, this 50,000 that you see here, 
for the annual demand, which is D, is this kind of particular 50,000. Because they are saying the annual demand of material MX in a production company is 50,000. So that's D. That's our D, which is 50,000 there. And then uh, if we can be able to check this kind of particular information, the ordering cost is 500 shillings per order. I think that uh, the ordering cost, which is CO, is actually 500. And then uh, they are saying the purchase price of material MX is 400 shillings per unit. So the purchase price is that P, the price, which is actually 400. And this one is uh, going to be relevant when maybe we, have no, we are trying to calculate the carrying cost or the ordering cost uh, on a certain percentage of the purchase price, but which in this case we are not going to calculate uh, that kind of particular question, uh, that kind of particular using that format. But uh, in the subsequent questions that uh, I'm going to post here, we are going to see that uh, this purchase price, uh, we are going to use it in terms of actually calculating uh, the holding cost or the carrying cost, and at the same time we are going to use it in terms of getting the uh, total cost of inventory. Remember the total cost of inventory whereby we say it is the relevant cost plus the purchase cost. And remember we say the purchase cost is D times P. D being the annual demand, P uh, being the purchase price. So that purchase price is this 400 that you actually, you can be able to uh, see here. So in terms of getting the purchase cost, huh? we say the purchase cost is always D times P. D being the annual demand, P being that kind of particular purchase cost, which is this one. So that one we'll be able to use it in terms of getting that kind of particular total inventory. So we have the purchase cost up there, and then they are saying the holding cost is 200 shillings per unit per annum. So holding cost is our CH which is actually uh, 200 there. It's actually 200 shillings. So this one has already been calculated. But if you can, see, uh, you can check some past papers, the holding cost is always a percentage of the purchase price. In some questions, you just find that uh, the holding cost is 10% of the purchase price. So if they give you such kind of particular question whereby the holding cost is 10% of the purchase price, then for you to calculate the holding cost, which is CH, you have to take 10 over 100 multiplied by this purchase price, which is 400 shillings there. So that now you can have your holding cost to be 40. So in most of the questions, you are going to find that uh, you have to calculate the holding cost or the carrying cost on uh, the purchase price. But in this kind of question, it was already calculated because they said that that kind of particular, the holding cost is 200, so they have already calculated it. So it's a very simple question that we are going to actually do here. So after knowing that, now we can be able to calculate, because the first thing that they want us to be able to calculate is the economic order quantity. So determine the economic order quantity. And the economic order quantity, quantity is the EOQ. So economic order quantity, we say this is going to be given by the square root of uh, 2DCO. So 2DCO and then uh, divided by a CH. So that too is a constant which must be there always in that formula. And uh, for us now to get our EOQ then, so it's going to be uh, two, let me put a full stop here so that we know that we are going to multiply. So it's going to be two multiplied by D, and the D is the annual demand, which is 50,000. So multiplied by 50,000, and then multiplied by the cost per order, which is CO. CO is the cost per order, and you can be able to see that uh, the cost per order is 500. So that 500, and then over a CH, which is the carrying cost. The carrying cost 
is 200 in this kind of particular case. So we put our 200 there, which is actually that kind of particular carrying cost. So uh, I'm going to uh, take my calculator and then calculate it direct, and then we can be able to find our E or Q. So it's going to be that two times 50,000, and then multiplied by 500, and divided by 200, and then square root answer. So I can be able to find my E or Q is 500 units. So E or Q there is 500 units. So that's how we calculate that economic order quantity, and it's always in terms of units. So our E or Q is 500. So we are done with the E or Q. The next thing that uh, we are going to calculate is this number of orders in a year. So remember, I told you that for us to be able to calculate the number of orders in a year, number of orders, we said that uh, the formula of getting the number of orders is D over E or Q. So that's how we get the, the number of orders in a year, the orders that were made in that year. And in this case, remember D is this 50,000. So it's going to be 50,000 divided by the E or Q which is 500. So if we can cancel this and this by 5, 1, by 5, 100 there. So meaning that uh, the number of orders in a year, they are going to be 100 orders. So that's how you get the number of orders in a year, the 100 orders using that kind of particular formula. So you need to know the formula. It's actually D over E or Q, and that's how you calculate the number of orders. Then the next uh, part of the equation is calculate the total relevant cost. So how do we get the total relevant cost? So for us to be able to get the total relevant cost, uh, then uh, we must use this formula. Remember, relevant cost We said that is the annual ordering cost we add the annual holding cost. And I keep on reminding you that holding cost is basically the carrying cost. And remember we said for us to get the annual ordering cost is just D over E or Q multiplied by cost per order, a CO. So we add, for us to get the annual holding cost, it is E or Q over 2 multiplied by CH. So that's what we said. So meaning that uh, we can be able to calculate our annual ordering cost and uh, how do we calculate it? Remember we have the annual demand, this D, D over E or Q, so which is going to be 50,000 because our D is 50,000 there. So it will be that 50,000 divided by E or Q, which is 500 units. So divided by 500 and then multiplied by this CO cost per order, and then we can be able to check our cost per order, which is CO here, is actually 500. So I can close this one inside a bracket, and then we say plus E or Q, this kind of second part of the formula, which is uh, E or Q is uh, 500 over two, because it's E or Q over two, multiplied by CH, which is the carrying cost, and the carrying cost here is 200. So if you do this kind of particular equation here, this 500 and this 500, the 
are dying to be able to cancel out. So by 2-1, by 2-100 here. So on this first part, it's going to be this 50,000. So the first part is going to be 50,000. So this is what we are dying to find here. So 50,000 plus 500 times 100 is also 50,000. It's going to be that 50,000 there. So it's going to be this 50,000 plus this 50,000, meaning that the relevant cost is going to be, the relevant cost in this case will be 100, 100,000. So 100,000 is our relevant cost. So it will be 100,000. And uh, in terms of relevant cost is going to be in terms of shillings. So is that 100,000? If I can adjust that kind of particular camera in that kind of particular manner. So that's how we calculate uh, the economic order quantity and also calculating the relevant cost, the number of orders. If they were to ask the average in inventory, we have said that is C or Q divided by uh, uh, two. So meaning that average inventory, if I was to calculate average inventory, is basically 250 because average inventory is always E or Q divided by two. So it's going to be this 500 and then uh, we divide that 500 by uh, two. So what if, what if they were to ask you to calculate the total cost of inventory? So sometimes they may ask you to calculate the relevant cost and then they go ahead and then they ask you uh, to calculate uh, the uh, total cost. So remember, our relevant cost is 100,000. So what if now the question was further and says that we calculate that kind of particular uh, total cost. So in, in, uh, in case they ask for us to calculate that kind of particular uh, total cost, uh, this is how we can do it, the total cost of inventory. Uh, so in case they, do, they ask such kind of particular question, the total cost, remember we say that total cost will be given by this relevant cost, so you must have the relevant cost first. You add the purchase. You add the purchase cost. So that's how we are going to get that kind of particular uh, a total cost. And remember already, already we have this kind of particular relevant cost because we have calculated it and it's actually 100,000. So how can we be able to get the purchase cost? So for us to get the purchase, uh, the purchase cost, Remember I told you that uh, if you want to get the purchase cost, the purchase uh, cost is always D times P. So D being the annual demand, uh, P being the purchase price, and you can be able to see the purchase price here. So if I want to get the total uh, purchase cost there, then uh, it's going to be D, which is actually uh, 50,000, so it's going to be this 50,000 multiplied by the purchase price, which is 400. So if I calculate that, then I will be able to get the purchase cost because already I have the relevant cost, which is 100,000. So if I, if I take 50,000 and then multiply it by 400, I can get, I'm, I'm actually getting 20 million. So I'm getting 20 million and this 20 million 20 million is actually our purchase cost. So for me now to get the total cost, I'm going to take this relevant cost, which is 100,000, plus that kind of particular purchase cost, which is 20 million. So meaning that uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to have my total cost of inventory is going to be 20 million, So it will be 20 million, 100,000. 20 million, 100,000. So that's how you get it. The, the total cost will then be that 20 million, 100,000. And that is the total cost of the inventory.
inventory. So those are some of the kinds of questions that they may ask you, this question of the economic order a quantity. So you need to know the formulas, and if you can be able to know the formulas, uh, then even calculations are actually uh, going to be uh, very simple. Uh, so the next thing that uh, we are going to discuss later We'll be able to discuss about now stock levels. How can we be able to calculate the other level? How can we be able to calculate the minimum stock level? And that one is going to be in the subsequent videos that I'm going to be able to prepare. So thank you.